Good morning, YouTube. Coming into the to the master, the master bedroom, which is the master closet at this point. Anyway, it's also the garden. It's the indoor garden until, you know, until we get this place finished. I'm like, um, ooh, I'm looking up, you know, residential, huh? What's, you know, residential for young men, you know, substance abuse problems or some psychiatric issues, kind of combined, you know, there's nothing like that serious. Like, nobody needs to be locked up forever here. We just need a little, you know, a little bit of organizational skills taught. Like, we've got situations, you know, we have a lot of young people today that are between, you know, um, 15 years, 13 years old and 35 that are, they really started with the, the, the autism thing. You know, and we're like, what's that? Like, That's just so rare. Like, well, I come every, I come when they raise the number of things that they have to insert into your children's bodies medically when they're younger. How come the rate of mental problems and other all kind of autoimmune problems and health issues? And so how come that's like correlates exactly with that? I don't know, Karen. That's, that's, you know, the, the miss in for may shun medical backwards, whatever that, that they would send the lightning bolt down and take this down. Don't you dare show a correlation between, you know, medicinal care and obvious side effects of destroyed brains and bodily organs and systems. There's no correlation. It's a, it's a quinky dink. You know, autism generally sets in moments after the MMR shot. It just, it's just, a, it's a quinky dink. It just, it, what it is, is it's just, that's the age when autism suddenly sets in overnight. Overnight! Wait, you don't know how that works? You're not a doctor. That's how it works. That's how it works. Anyway, I don't know. I just saw a pattern. Well, you know what? When you see too many patterns, Karen, that means you're schizoaffective or schizophrenic. When you see patterns that just aren't there, I'm like, oh, is that what it is? Okay. Well, you know, I've not actually been diagnosed. I was diagnosed once by a woman who actually reached over and changed answers on a quiz that I was taking to see how mentally disturbed I actually was or was not. She changed the answers. And then ran it through a computer program that said, yeah, Karen, you're really histrionic. You're crazy. You think somebody's out to get you. I said, well, that question was a true or false. Do you think someone's out to get you? That question meant, do I think someone that I'm not sure who it is, is out to get me? I feel paranoid. Like, where are they? No, we're, I'm here because I'm being sued for custody of my children and being called insane. No, was the answer to that question. I do not believe someone is out to get me. She said, no, you do believe someone's out to get you. I said, that's not what that question means. Like, if you as a psychiatrist do not understand what the questions on your tests mean, how can you diagnose me at all? This was a court-ordered mental evaluation that I had to take, but that my opponent did not have to take. That my attorney said to me, never has happened in the history of Anne Arundel County Circuit Court ever, 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 ever. She doesn't understand what's happening. And I'm like, well, maybe that's because my opponent is a member of Army Intelligence. You think that might have something to do with it? Oh, no, Karen, that's got nothing to do with it. It's just a weird coincidence. Isn't it? It's always coincidence. Isn't it coincidental? It's coincidental that this woman changed three answers on my test that I had either said true or false to. She switched them because she said, you're lying. And then she ran the quiz through and said, you're histrionic and paranoid. I said, no, no, I'm not. I'm... Someone is attacking me. Why do you think I'm here? I didn't come here on my own. I was forced to come get the evaluation because someone is trying to take my children away from me. That's not what that question had anything to do with. It didn't say, is your current spouse that you're trying to divorce trying to take your kids away? The answer to that question would have been true. Yes. That's not what the question was. So I, I'm just saying, just a little tired of the mental health care system. Um, I'm just a little tired, a little tired of it. They want people to be sane to enter into treatment. They want people to be clean of drugs to enter into rehab for drugs. They want people to be, you know, I'm like, 
Oh, okay. I'm just, and, and what kind of treatment are they going to get? They're going to get over-medicated. With, they're going to get over-diagnosed, misdiagnosed. They're going to get over-medicated. I got my son back a couple of years ago from one of these wonderful, lovely places that said they're going to help him. He was catatonic. Could not move his face almost at all. Could not lift his feet off the floor. Shuffled. We were absolutely horrified. There was not a single reason on earth for him to be medicated in that manner. And this is why he doesn't want to go back to get help. This is how they help themselves to the Medicare money and destroy your children's lives, your family members, your friends, whoever that have struggles controlling their emotions and they're just like, because this world is so fucking insane and they're trying to point it out and everybody's like, eh, calm down, here's some drug until you... Now, I know that he's, uh, I know he's full of shit in a lot of ways, but a lot of things he's saying is completely 100% true. I can see the difference. So, what I think my son needs to do is exercise radical acceptance. This place is completely fucked up, and you need to radically accept the fact that sometimes you got to wipe up somebody else's pee-pee before you sit down. And uh, that'll, that'll, that'll help him out a lot if he realizes that. I realized that a long time ago. Peace out, YouTube. But the thing is, they took the toilet paper out of the bathroom because he was using it to wipe up the pee-pee. So they took it out. And then he became enraged about that, which uh, I understand. Well, I, they want him to sit in the pee-pee, I think. And I'm thinking to him, well, you've got a wang, just don't sit, like, hover. You got to poop, just hover uh, something. Just take a paper bag with you. Poop outside. Dig a hole. I did it all last summer. All that one summer when I moved here, I dug a hole and pooped my, my, pooped in it. I mean, you just do, you need to cover it up. You do what you got to do. You throw some lime down in the hole. Look, you're a natural animal. You're a natural, you figure, figure you're smart, figure it out. Figure out how to, like, get down to the corner store and grab a couple napkins and stick them in your pocket. I know it's stealing. I know it's stealing, isn't it? Figure something out. Stop saying I can't. Well, I can't either. <laughs> Did you ever think of that? Hmm.